Can we start by showing you how fast a startup is? Let's click on Serato right now. Time it, people. Time it. And bam, crates loaded. Oh, shit. Seconds. Seconds. What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So I'm really pumped up. I got my new computer. I put all my music on the internal hard drive of my computer, so I'm not going to be keeping music on the external anymore. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I did that. But before I do, I want to give you the top five reasons why every single DJ should be putting their music on their internal hard drive. Number one, it's a shit ton more fast and efficient. Everything will run 10 times more smoothly, no matter what program you're using, but definitely with Serato. Less file paths, less they don't have to go out to an external to get it, and your internal hard drive of your Mac or your PC is gonna be, most of the time, way faster than your external, unless you're spending big money on the external. Which brings me to reason number two. You don't have to spend the extra money on external hard drives. You don't, you don't have to buy them. So it's cheaper, right? It's just cheaper to keep it on your computer because you don't have to buy a separate piece of hardware to put your music. Number three, one less thing to go wrong. If your hard drive dies, if your external hard drive dies, you're screwed. Now you gotta do the quick swap or whatever, whatever you have set up and it's gonna be a problem at your event or whatever. Of course you're gonna have it back up, but again, it's another thing to go wrong. Whereas the internal hard drive of your computer, I mean, I've never heard of one dying. I mean, I'm gonna knock on wood right now. Like, God forbid I shook the cameras and knocking on wood, but like, seriously, like, it's one less thing to go wrong. You know, you can pretty much count on your internal hard drive of your laptop. Reason number four, it looks cleaner. You don't have a hard drive sticking out. So when you're set up at a wedding or whatever event you're at, it's only two wires. You got your power wire and you got the wire that goes into your controller or your mixer or whatever. And that's it. So it's honestly a cleaner setup. I hated how my one lacy was orange. I like everything kind of be the same color. This shit was like orange as shit, just kind of, you know, I never really liked that. Now it just looks cleaner. So aesthetically, it's better. And number five, updating and keeping up on it is just way easier. You set your downloads to the update folder, whatever you have set up on your internal hard drive there. And then as you go through websites and you're downloading music on your Mac, it just goes right there and it's ready to go. And then you could just, you know, uh, load it up on Serato, update it, like drag the folder over top of it and update it and then you're good to go. It's super easy. Obviously you could do this with an external, but you have to go get your external. You gotta plug it in, you gotta wait for it. You know what I mean? Like it did, it's just all right there. You could just grab your computer without anything hooked up to it and then do everything you need to do to manage your music. So before I even start guys, I'm going to let you know that this is a pretty big undertaking because not only am I adding everything to my internal hard drive and like kind of switching up how I do things as far as music and management of the music, I'm also redoing my whole hard drive. Like I deleted the dupes. If you didn't see that video, definitely check that out. And then now I'm basically consolidating even more and then redoing all my crates so it's just less file paths, it's easier for Serato to read, and easier for me to go through too. So this ain't easy, it's a process I'm still going through, but honestly this is the best time to do it because we got the time off, right? I mean most of us aren't really working much or as much, and if you still got your backup laptop, you can use that in the meantime, so might as well knock this shit out now, right? So first off, let's get into the specs. This is the computer I bought. So this is a 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro, it's got four Thunderbolt 3 ports, which I highly recommend, I, I want to do too. You never know when you can use that third, obviously. 16 gigs of RAM, and I also have the one terabyte hard drive. And the one terabyte hard drive is the major key because that's where we're gonna put our music, obviously. And my whole goal when I did the other video about you know getting my music down was to be able to fit on a one terabyte because the difference in price between a one terabyte and a two terabyte is $400. And do I really need that much more space? Do I really need all those duplicates? No, like just put in the work and save 400 bucks in my opinion. Now this computer was $19.99. Um, I'll flash the build on the screen for it so you guys can see like what I I got and everything and I love it now personally a lot of people like the bigger screens I don't I'm per I, I'm a fan of the 13 inch for DJing I like the bigger screens for editing video and all that I have a 15 that I edit video with but like as far as DJing with I don't know, I'm a big fan of the 13 I just I like it more compact I like it you know I can see everything right there you can make the text bigger it's not that big of a deal and you're gonna save a lot of money on a 13 than you would on a 15 you know 15 start at 2400 with no memory space so if you want to get an equivalent 
15 inch or 16 inch now um, MacBook Pro that has the same kind of storage, you're looking at closer to three grand for that. So I'd rather save the grand, have three less inches. You know, what's three less inches, right ladies? <laughs> Now, first of all, I'm the kind of guy that, you know, the Mac I use to DJ with, I don't want anything else on it, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm blessed enough where I can just buy a Mac just for DJing, that's it. I have separate Macs for other stuff, so I don't put anything on this. So the first thing I did was get rid of GarageBand, get rid of like all the extra fluff that I wouldn't need ever, and all I have on this computer essentially is Serato and any drivers and whatnot I need. So that way it's nice and clean, ready to go. So after I did that, I loaded Serato, had everything set, and then now I had to load the music. Since this computer is only gonna have Serato, the first thing I did which is make a music folder right on my desktop and put all my music right on the desktop. But this was a mistake and something I had to redo. Computers store files through file paths, right? So you'll have, in other words, like this folder is on the desktop, which is on your hard drive. So it's hard drive, desktop, folder, then folder in that folder, then folder in that folder, right? And it's all file paths. The less file paths you have, right? The less folders, the less things that Serato has to dig through to find your music, the faster it's going to be. And I read online that the best place to put your music internally is to put it in the internal music file on your Mac hard drive. And it's the same music file where Serato will put the, their info on it. So you know I have the Serato crate, like the Serato folder, and then the Serato backup folder, which will have all your crates, all your metadata, everything's gonna be stored in that. You wanna put your music in that exact same folder that way Serato goes right there they already has to go there to read your crates and everything and your music is right there there's not an additional file path that has to go through to find your music so I ended up having to basically you know delete all my music off my desktop and then re-put it on the music and redo all the file paths but it was well 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 worth it in the end so definitely make sure you do that so where you want to put is you want to go to finder Click on your the home, which is essentially all your files, and then right on the music right there. You'll see the Serato stuff up top, and then I put all my music right in there, so it's easier for Serato to find. Less file paths is the key here. Now, if you open up your Finder and see that you don't have like the home part here, like you can't find like your home, just while you're in Finder, go up here to Finder, then go to Preferences, and then you just gotta click it on. So see my little home thing? I'm gonna click it on, and then that'll put it on the side. So now you have it here, so you have full access to your files. So this is where you want your music to live if you're going all internal. This is the optimum place to put it. Does that make sense? Optimum place? The most, the most optimum place to put your music. There. Now, a lot of DJs run their shit through iTunes. They organize it through iTunes. iTunes is getting phased out, number one. Um, you know, it's not going to be, it's like it's phasing out into Apple Music and stuff. So, like, you know, it's not really a safe place for your music anymore. Eventually, it's not going to be there. That's what a lot of people are saying. I mean, I don't know for sure. But that's what a lot of people are saying. One thing with iTunes is if you have your music on iTunes, now the command shift delete feature that Serato has that I said in the last video where like you can just delete something and put it right in your trash can through Serato, it won't work. And a lot of people hit me up like, yo man, like it's not working for me. It's because you have your music through iTunes. I didn't realize that. that's something I realized. So this is also an opportunity if you have your shit through iTunes and you know that's where everything lives, maybe take it out of there, kind of get rid of iTunes altogether and just have a direct file path right on the music folder I just showed you and then load them that way. Um, that way you can better manage your hard drive. Now it comes to backup, of course I'm gonna keep backup. I love lacy hard drives so I'm gonna keep a couple there's two different kinds of lacy hard drives that I own I'm gonna keep these loaded with the exact same uh, crates and everything so God forbid I guess I don't know if this computer blew for, for this for my crates not to work on here that would mean my whole computer doesn't work and I would just need a whole nother computer but uh, my backup computer would go with one of these hard drives and I'd be good to go so make sure you keep everything backed up uh, obviously you know uh, copy your hard drive over as you update so it's always backed up God forbid your computer gets stolen or something or anything happens you know you always have a backup hard drive on you like in your bag I keep one at the house too like a master hard drive at my house here just in case you know what I mean so of course back all that stuff up as always thank you so much for watching this video I appreciate every single one of you make sure you like comment subscribe if you're new here there's a new video every week so it'll be worth the sub I promise and I'll talk to you guys next week peace out